Hey guys, Thomas from FT86 Speed Factory. Today, we're gonna review and install the brand new IRP short shifter that reduces throws by 60% and increases the height of the shifter so it's closer to your hands on the steering wheel. Now until recently, if you wanted the shortest throws from an affordable aftermarket shifter, you'd probably go with the Cart Boy because it has a reduction factor of 28.5%. But things have changed because IRP has built this fully functional shifter with reverse lockout that significantly reduces shifter travel more than anything else in its price range. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the install. First thing we'll need to do is remove the shift knob, shifter trim, and boot, as well as the handbrake boot. Then we'll need to remove the side panels on both sides. And then from underneath, pop out the USB auxiliary plug. Unplug that guy and then pop out this tray in the bottom. Then we can remove the six screws holding on the center console. There are two up front, two in the middle, and the last two are underneath a rubber cover in the storage bin. Now we can remove these plastic clips to remove the foam cover. Get this foam cover out of the way. Now we have access to these four 12 millimeter bolts. And then we can take off this metal bracket along with the rubber boot. Now underneath that rubber boot are these four 10 millimeter bolts that hold on the lockout plate. Now on the bottom of the shift rod is a rubber boot and you need to move that to the side in order to take out the pin and washer. Then you can slide out the rod that connects the shifter with the transmission. And then it'll pop right out. Now you need to get underneath your car to remove the rest of the stock shifter. And we'll start out by removing these 11 10 millimeter bolts holding on this under panel that's hiding the transmission. Now for the next step, we need a jack and some blocks in order to remove both the transmission mount and center drive shaft mount in order to lower the drive chain just a couple inches so we have enough room to remove the shifter carrier. There are two 12 millimeter bolts holding on the rear carrier bushing. And the two pins up front can be pushed out of the way with a flathead. And with a little bit of elbow grease, the shifter carrier will come right out and the only thing we have left to do underneath the car is to reinstall the bolts on the transmission and the drive shaft. Now we can drop in the IRP short shifter, go underneath the car and reconnect the shifter rod, and then reinstall the black washer and pin. In order for the center console to fit perfectly, we need to cut a small notch in order to clear the new shifter but don't worry because this won't be visible once everything's installed because it'll hide underneath the shifter trim. Now right out of the box, the IRP shifter is pretty much set up. The only thing you need to do is align the set screws to take the little bit of slop out of the shifter. Now to set the right set screw, you need to put the shifter in first gear and then tighten down the set screw. And do the exact same thing for the left set screw except put it in six gear. Now the only thing we have left to do is to put back all the trim pieces and check out how much shorter this new shifter is compared to stock. Now other than the massive 60% reduction the shifter has, it operates just like any other shifter that you're used to, except for the reverse lockout feature. In order to use that, you need to press the button on the top of the shift knob. 
Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take this out on the street and test how it actually performs. Now the first time you shift this, you'll notice how notchy it is. It's almost like a bolt action rifle. But it's not very hard to get into gear because you have so much leverage for the longer shifter. Now the first thing you'll notice when you hop into this car is how much taller this shifter is over stock. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. With a taller shifter, your hands travel less when you're trying to shift, so that means more time with your hands on the wheel and less time shifting. The shifter is really aimed towards performance driving enthusiasts. It'd be greatly suited for any autocross or track days, and even you guys out there who are drifting. But to be honest, I would actually put this shifter on my daily driver and it would do just fine. Going into each gear, you get the mechanical feel, the shifter, you know exactly when you're in gear. Man, this is a lot of fun. Now I don't know about you guys, but I like to heel toe rev match almost on every stoplight. And this shifter just makes it so much more enjoyable. For the money, this is gonna be the best short shifter you can get on the market today. All right guys, if you wanna pick up your very own IRP short shifter, you can head over to our website by clicking the YouTube card in the top right hand corner of the video. And if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email at sales at ft86speedfactory.com or give us a ring at 888-85-2002. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on your FRS, BRZ, or 86. Bam, 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 bam.